A morning kickoff on this November Saturday. Football for breakfast in Ames, Iowa. Oklahoma comes to town with much on the line. National title dreams were dashed with a September loss to Kansas State and last week's defeat against Notre Dame. But for prolific quarterback Landry Jones and his Sooners, a BCS Bowl is still in sight. Standing in the way, an Iowa State team with a knack for the upset. Woody, number 32, is in the backfield. They'll run the triple option and White on the toss. Three-man rush. Jones with plenty of time, throws over the middle and completes to Justin Brown. Oklahoma hurries to the line of scrimmage. They can run an awful lot of plays in a very short amount of time. Jones throws again. Jones on the quick out, this time to Kenny Stills, who slips a tackle. Then he was playing the inside receiver position earlier in the year. So spotted at the 29. And right back to work in the passing game. The Iowa State defense has done a very good job this year, not giving up a lot of points, and that's the bottom line. Chantrell Johnson trying to get outside, but the speed of Tony Jefferson, number one, the safety. Four-man rush. Jantz pressured and tripped. Just tripped by Stacy McGee. Because he is excellent at doing that exact job, and that's a big deal. He has had one touchback all year long. He's been able to put the ball inside the 20 consistently. And here is Oklahoma hustling to the line, trying to make sure not only that they can get that, that defense scrambling, but that nobody makes any substitutions. Third and short, Blake Bell comes in. High snap. Got it back and powers forward. Cyclone showed the blitz and come out of it. This one's complete to Saunders out the midfield. Read the corner blitz and replaced it with the throw. Jan's little hesitation. Now he's going to try to run. Crosses the 45 to the 46, so he gains only a yard. Oklahoma starts inside its 10. They've got the screen to the fullback, Trey Miller. Millard cuts it up across the 20, 24-yard line. This crowd that we expect to be a record attendance today going out of its mind right now on third and long. Jones with all day to throw and guns it for a first down to the 43-yard line. Then every once in a while, they do bring the pressure. Jones throws the quick out. That one's complete to Trey McTwire. Jones completes almost two-thirds of his throws on the season. Getting good protection here. Goes to Kenny Stills. Miller back to Shepard on the flanker reverse. Shepard, who was in the slot, took the toss. Three-man rush. Jones for the end zone, back shoulder throw. That's a touchdown to Sterling Shepard. He beat Dion Broomfield, the nickelback. And that was a terrific throw. Let's go, go. Chance wants a screen. Instead, it's a little crossing around underneath, hoping to get Jarvis West free, but he was covered up completely. Tony Jefferson was right there. Jones throwing out of his own end zone. He's going to have enough for a first down. So he is a game breaker. Jones throws again underneath. And certainly they have found a rhythm in their passing game. Clay. And Brennan Clay will have about 12 yards. That'll be a first down out at the 38-yard line. Clay and Finch are deep. Clay tripped up as he got to the 37-yard line. And you wonder what Landry Jones was seeing there because there were a lot of defenders in the area. And that's, Chance, quarterback keeper, he'll get maybe a yard. I understand the logic here, and I don't think Iowa State can stop it with two timeouts. Clay again gets to the outside, forced out of bounds by Klein. 
Well, Janine, he has certainly played well, hasn't he? Landry Jones is going to air it out here. This is deep down the sideline. The defender never saw it. Craig Stokes had his back turned to Justin Brown. Stokes was turned around. They still have 20 seconds to go. Now Jones is going to go for the end zone to Stills, and it's a touchdown. What a killer sequence for Iowa State and tip of the cap to Landry Jones for a couple of great throws. And I would argue that if Brennan Clay would have stayed in bounds on that run for first down, I think Oklahoma would have let the clock go out. He goes out of bounds, and I think Josh Heupel probably gets on the headset and says, Coach, let me throw one fade. A 10-yard pass, and then I think you might have a second left to try to get one of the end zone. Chance operating against a three-man rush, and he'll go down at the 21-yard line. They just want to get the win. Well, Janine, they certainly have momentum on their side coming out. Here's another flanker screen. They get this one out. Second and 10 for Jones. Clay, the tailback. Breaks a tackle. Clay in the open field, and they're going to mark him just shy. And you're missing Damian Williams, the best running back, so I think you might be right. They're going for the offsides here. No, they're going to run the play. And Bell is hit and fell forward. Mm. What a gamble. Five carries, four yards out of that formation. Now Landry Jones got the screen pass to Brendan Clay. I think what Bob Stoops feels is, and here goes Oklahoma really fast again. Flanker screen again, trying to get these guys in space. Jones again, short set, throwing underneath. Complete to Jalen Saunders, who caught 15 a week ago. And an offset stack to the top of your screen. Jones waiting on a crossing pattern and throws to Stills. He's got it and has a first down. Third and long as Iowa State came with a blitz on that last play, trying to get Landry Jones timing off. Four-man rush here. A little bit of pressure for the end zone. Tip and caught. Touchdown, Justin Brown. What a break. Jeremy Reeves reached out and tipped it. The ball spun right into the hands of Justin Brown. See how Oklahoma responds. Jones is going to go on the ground to Brendan Clay, and Clay will rip off 13 yards for a first down. Some of the little things that you've been picking up on. Uh, just trying to give him simple uh, terms and uh, concepts that Oklahoma's trying to do against us, and uh, maybe that'll help him go out there and uh, perform a little bit better and get some stops. Jake not got something really special in the mail this week. It was a handwritten letter from Texas coach Mac Brown wishing him well. How about that? Result in two interceptions. Let's see if they can get another one. Clay had a lot more success in the second half as that offensive line starting to exert its will a little bit. So much more effective than they were at the beginning of the game. Clay again. Boy, shows you a little power. Jones. Blitz coming. Jones steps up and throws complete. Got it to his freshman again. Sterling Shepard down at the 18-yard line. Good job stepping up. That time, nice job stepping straight forward. Give it to Clay again. Good block. Clay inside the 10, inside the 5. Touchdown. Ripkowski threw a huge block to open the hole. Rukowski, the guy you want in front of you, 260. If he could have grabbed his jersey, he would have. <laughs> Jones will go back and throwing again. A perfect strike that time to Sterling Shepard. Second and 10, Oklahoma at its own 46. Clay. When you're right, what was maybe a two or three yard run in the first mm -hmm. half. Now extending itself, that was eight. Fourth down, Tressway comes on to kick to Aaron Horn. Let's it go. What a bounce. Down inside the two. They need to reach just shy of the 11-yard line for a first down. Chance retreats into the end zone. Throws underneath. That's going to be incomplete. 
That was a big, big hit from Tony Jefferson. It's been impressive for many years. Remember Mike Leach came in here, Mark Mangino, when they first got here, this staff to Oklahoma. Some of the long nights talking about football with Mike Leach, they have some great stories. Clay has had a huge second half, got a good block from Miller. Jones with a full house backfield here. Fakes to Clay. Stills. Touchdown. Kenny Stills runs a great route. Beats Cliff Stokes for the second time in that corner. And he's a big target at 6'1", 190. And he makes himself bigger. Good timing, good body control. This one was a really nice throw by Landry Jones. Don't chase things that aren't there, and that was a great example of that. This is his second tour of duty here after going to Arizona as the head coach. That didn't work, and he came back. But that kill shot with your head has become so glorified. And we show it all the time on exactly. Sports. Absolutely, and we don't mention that it's a penalty. Jance got away, throws over the middle. There's a big hit, but the ball came loose or did it? Is it a catch or not? Josh Lenz. The officials talking it over now. They say incomplete. Down by two scores, do or die. And recovered by Oklahoma <laughs> at the 35. I, they gave it a shot. I love that. That was such a smart misdirection. And Oklahoma will give you all the five, six, seven yard throws you want. Go for an onside kick again if you score, but you do want to save some of it. Delayed blitz coming. Jance throws, and this one is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. The leader in the secondary as Jance overthrew that pass. And Jefferson kills the threat. Great second half. And he's going to get as many carries as he can handle down the stretch here. Got a great block on the corner. Gets outside the 20. Uses his stiff arm to get up to the 24. And play again. Got a first down to the 32-yard line. Oklahoma averaging 173 yards a game. Clay has 151 by himself before this run. Not a bad day for Landry Jones either as he becomes the fifth all-time passer in the history of college football and in the FBS division. And that'll do it. And Paul Rhodes will go to Texas next week. Still one short of bowl eligibility. But this is a team that will play in a bowl and will give whoever they play in the bowl everything they want. This is this is this is no longer one of those teams that think, oh what a nice this is a good program. Yeah, he is really yeah. building something very good here. And I think Iowa. And I think a real quality win for Oklahoma. A tough loss at home against Notre Dame. A lot of emotion. They come back against a good opponent and play well enough to win. Well, they had to bounce back. They had to play against a tough Iowa State team on the road, and they did just that, and they come away with a big victory. Once again, our final score here in Ames, Iowa, Oklahoma 35, Iowa State 20. Fred Cunningham and Janine Edwards and our entire crew here in Ames, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for regional football after this message and a word from our ABC stations.